Cheers, everyone. Eros 1 2.5 is released. Eros 1 is a distribution, a loaded distribution uh, with Eros, the open source uh, recreation of Amigos. As most of you have discovered by now, at least those who have seen my videos, I'm a huge fan of uh, uh, freedom and open source software and uh, yeah, that movement. And uh, Arrows is open source. So that's uh, one of the direction I have been cheering for with the Amiga. I haven't have a lot of success with my previous attempts to run Arrows. But um, it's been a while since I've tested it, so I wanted to give it a new try with this new distribution. I don't have uh, uh, hardware that is compatible with uh, with the Eros at the moment, so I need to test it uh, uh, inside uh, VirtualBox. So let us do just that. I first heard the news about Eros 1 2.5 in Ametopia's uh, TV show, which you can enjoy here on YouTube. But here on arrowsworld.org I found the release note about it. And if we follow this link to the forum, we can see what's new in this new release. And some screenshots. The distribution is hosted on this Google site. And here we can actually see that 2.6 is released. So I guess that is the one I'll be testing tonight. Here I am booted inside RS1 from the ISO image in VirtualBox. And the installation is quite straightforward. It's just a matter of running install Arrows and press next, next, next and choosing where to install it, etc, etc. It's really not much to, to show you. It's quite simple. And some sips of beer and it's done. Great. Booted into my freshly installed Eros 1, you can see it reminds us a lot about uh, the newer versions of Amiga OS, like 3.9 and 4. One thing that this has is a start menu. I'm not a huge fan of those, but um, I know a lot of people are, so I think it's good that they have included it. And it comes with uh, shortcuts to preferences and utilities, and we could try a few of them. Uh, this is an editor. It's a normal text editor, it seems. Great for making uh, ASCII art. I guess that's what we use text editors for these days. Also in the menus we can see well-known stuff like HD toolbox, well, a calculator. Let's see if it works. Ooh, impressive, it works. If we have a look at uh, the programs on uh, the dock, we can see they have included Amitube. That's kind of a cool project. Um, you can search for videos on YouTube and uh, download them and watch them on your Amigas. This also works on 68K K Amigas, like uh, the 1200, and I think it even works on uh, uh, OCS Amigas, like the A500. And here is a good old friend, the good old directory Opus. And I wanted to see how it was to download and install your own programs. So now we just make our own download folder. And here you can now see that uh, Amitube has managed to search for some things about me. Mostly music, I think. Yes. Let's just click one of them. 
and download it to RAM. We can revisit this later. Uh, they have also included uh, this browser and it's quite capable. It, it's almost modern. As you can see, we can visit Google with it and search for things and it will actually work. And most pages works, but don't look quite like they should, but enough to for you to be able to find information and download software, etc. The Arrows archives is where we find software for Arrows. And um, you can think of it kind of like Amnet for Arrows. It's not that much software here compared to classic Amiga OS, but uh, there is quite a collection. And I wanted to download a few programs just to give it a try. And here we can see Odyssey web browser and what version it is. And it's the same version that is on the Arrows archives page. So this uh, Arrows one distro is quite updated. In the graphics and edit section, we can find an old favorite of mine, Graphics 2. So I will download that to our newly created, oops, newly created download folder. And a few other things. I will speed up this section. Most of the things I downloaded were graphics program and programs for editing and playing modules. As this download from YouTube takes a while, I will just speed up this part as well. But uh, in the end it made a file I didn't have a player for. I should have tested better what format uh, this installation of Eros could handle. Well, well, I won't try again right now as it took forever. To use the software we downloaded earlier, it's uh, just like on a normal Amiga. You can use directory opus to unpack your things and then simply just run them. So if we open our download folder and uh, Wookie chat, which we downloaded and unpacked and start that, we just need to change our nick and stuff like that into something more real and have a look if anyone is active on IRC today. And indeed there are. I better head out before anyone says anything I can't show in the video. If you ever want to have a chat with me on IRC, I usually hang around at Protech on at least EFnet and IRCnet on the usual Amiga channels there. Another classic I downloaded was uh, ProTracker, so let's give that a try. I have copied some of Hoffman's modules in and let's enjoy that and see if there is any problems with the sound. While we listen to this, I will poke around and just uh, look around what's here. So let's listen to Hoffman's music and have a look. Because of the start menu on the bottom, you can t see here that if we change background, we actually need to reboot before 
it looks any good. Wanderer, which is the name of the workbench replacement in Eros, supports themes, and there is quite a lot of cool themes that uh, comes with Eros 1. As you can see, it's everything from retro stuff to modern uh, dark stuff to, yes, whatever you prefer, there is one for you. Dark ones, bright one, blue one, red ones. I quite like this future. I think it's time we have a look at what software comes with Eros 1. And if we enter the music section, we can see there is a lot to choose from. Goa Tracker is one that I know. It's um, a tracker made for making SID music. Uh, the kind of music that you would listen to on your Commodore 64. There is more trackers here, but one I want to mention is Milky Tracker. It is a kind of modern version of the old school trackers that is available on most platform. It's nice to see that it's available here. There is also one thing I haven't seen before, a new version of Pro Tracker. I've never seen this version. It seems to support at least eight channels. And I don't think I should be the one to demo this. On my Amiga, I always use uh, Eagle Player to play modules while doing things. That is not available for Arrows on uh, x86, it seems. But let's test Simple Mod Player. This worked great, but it's not Eagle Player, and I think that's uh, one of the things I'm going to miss if I continue to use Eros. If we have a look in the graphics section, there's a lot of programs, but let's try this one called Soon Paint. It seems to be a paint clone. Oh, the art. It's beautiful. As I said, the collection is huge of uh, graphic software here. And uh, this is called Luna Paint. And I've heard about this before. It is a modern pixeler that supports everything you expect from that kind of software. Layers and etc, uh, etc. Et As you can see, there is tons of software in this. And this uh, video would go on forever if I should show it all. But uh, some highlights, it include uh, network file shares, uh, common Unix Linux software like wget, uh, it has uh, wikichat, uh, amifox, uh, amitube, uh, everything you would need to get started I would say. Even quite a lot of games. It does also comes with a few emulators for uh, emulating older hardware, like Vice and DOSBox and uh, lots of other things. There is also a few demos here, and uh, one of them is a port of uh, DOS 2 by MFX, and it's a PC demo originally. <laughs> The demo didn't start full screen, not sure why, maybe because I have a huge resolution on my Arrow setup. I think I've reached what I wanted to show you, but inside the benchmark I found a little gem. 
a nod to the past. Our old friend, the Boeing Ball. So, what do you think? I'm quite impressed. I really like this. And uh, I didn't run into any big problems, no crashing, needing to reboot or anything like that. Only reboots that I needed to do because I did changes, no crashing. And that was not the case last time I tried Eros. So I think this is very promising. I have poured myself a new glass of beer and now I tend to uh, enjoy Eros for the rest of the evening and the following days and try it out as a daily driver. Not daily driver, but my daily Omega driver. But if I like it, I plan to get myself some hardware that is compatible with it. That's my plan. Cheers, and I hope you have a wonderful evening.